Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's a day in the life with your boy TJFX. I've got Ted with me. Morning, Ted. Morning, Teddy. Did you sleep well? This is gonna be my comeback for fitness. Hello, good boy. For fitness and also for content creating. So a lot's happened in the last, let's just say eight, eight to 12 months, TFS grown up. We've moved the house, we've got the RE, we've got the Lamborghini, we've got the G-Wagon, we've got a couple other cars as well. Life's been crazy. I'm heading to the TFF HQ right now to go and hit a session. We've created a whole studio in there, which I'm gonna show you guys. Take you a whole day in life with me so you can see what I get up to. The time is currently 6.30 in the morning. It's getting quite late now. That's what I like to tell myself, so I pressure myself to get going. I was up at about five in the morning, just working, doing some TFF stuff. We have a lot of updates coming, new dashboards, migrating US clients over to a different platform, adding another MT4, MT5 brokerage to all the fit markets people because fit markets are a broker who has just Got rid of all of their prop firms so everyone's going to be migrating from fit markets over to this other broker and mt4 and mt5 who are allowing which is great news for tff i've got my selfie stick too so let's just see how it goes i'm all planned out but let's go get oh yeah look at my hair wow what a mess what a mess anyway it's time to get going i see the r8 Ready for this? Oh, yes. Just on my way now. Oh, yes. Never gonna get old of that noise, I tell you that for a fact. Driving in the RA right now. Hear the downshift. in the HQ right now where we're gonna hit the session in and uh, I'm gonna show you the R8 I've got a V10 plus R8 fully carbon spec now it is the bollocks it's a convertible as well I don't know what the brake horse power is if I'm honest with you guys but it's rapid it's a V10 and it's just a quality car one of one of many but when I get out now, I'm gonna show you, do a little walk around and then I'll show you the HQ as well where we do the TFF podcast and all that, all that good stuff. Here we go. Open sesame, turn off the alarm quick. <coughs> Here we go. Let's go. TFF, walk in. From the left here, we got the shower. Nice little bathroom for the, for the boys. And then flick these switches on. This is where the magic happens. So we've got the nice, nice kitchen down the side there. We've got the sauna, infrared sauna and cold plunge. It's where I, after my sessions, I go in there, get a 30, 40 minute hot sauna and uh, then get my cold therapy done. So this is one of the cars, the Merc's in here at the moment. We've kind of just stored it here. Uh, for the time being, got all of the football shirts on the wall, Ronaldo, Benzema, Ibrahimovic, Ronaldinho, Messi, Zinedine Zidane, Pele and Ronaldo. We've got a lot of stuff. TFF Studios there with the gym also to the left. So this is where I come do my workouts now in the morning. We've kitted it out with all the glass. You've got chest machines, you've got Smith machines in the corner, proper full out gym, back rows, leg press, calf raises, cables, leg press, and also Stairmaster. Got some stuff upstairs as well. I'll quickly go show you guys. 
But moving swiftly on, let's look at the studio. The boys are in here at the moment, doing up the studio. We need to put wooden panels on this side of the fins, but this is how it looks when we're recording a TFF HQ podcast. When we fly out the guests, all funded traders. There's a waiting chair as well and a bit of a dead palm, but you know, quite, quite, quite impressive stuff. I can't lie, I'll show you the R8 as well in a second. Let me just get ourselves up here, see what's going on. We've got a few chairs going on there. And then this is gonna be like my main room, my TJFX main room where I can make main channel videos, but I'm bringing it back to the vlogs if I'm honest with you. So probably won't do that now. I'll just have this as a work room. I've got all the football players up there. And then yeah. Sofa bed. This TV was so much money and it's not even been used once. Let's go downstairs and show you the R8 now. And then I can get my session in and show you boys how I train. Fully carbon, even the lips. V10 plus. back as well most exercise of the day we do chest and shoulders so whatever else an incline and we'll warm up on the tent so I've added tens onto the weights We've now got 20 each side plus the actual Smith machine. And again, this is just a little warm up. Getting the muscles burning. Oosh. So, taking off the 5 and 10s for the 15 kg. We're putting on 20 kg to give it a total of 30 kilos on each side plus the bar weight so 80 kilos incline chest press and then after this we're gonna go on to uh, the machine the hammer strength machine where you just do chest press as well but more incline focused as well so you do the shoulders too then we're gonna move on to the cables do some cable flies and also some side raises as well. Um, uh, let's get it up. One, two, three. but I'm gonna get another 10 kilos on each side and then just rep this out three or four sets on this and then go straight into shoulders and cable flies and then that'll be the session done it's a quick session today I've got builders in to finish off the doors on the podcast and the kitchen section and then I've got to go walk the dog but we'll get to that I've got a lot of things to do so these ones are a good little burner as well to be fair to you um, Good little burner. It's a good way to uh, stretch the muscles of your chest. Go so, 18.5 kilos. You can do it either with your legs closed in, one foot like this, and you close in like that. But make sure when you're coming in, your arms are sort of straight. So even though it's bent here, when you come in, you're straighten your arms. Because that's where you're going to get the underneath here on the pole. But you don't want to go 
because you do that on the last set, you try and keep it all mobilized in the muscle. Because a lot of people go, well, that's using your momentum to get into it. When you start burning the muscle and you can't do anymore, then you go in and start like this. Uh, oh, there you go. Right round here. Shoulders, chest is pumped. With side raises, you want to be going all in your elbow. Like that. You hold on, you lean, and you get your elbow up. All in your elbow. Not, not lifting your arm. If you want to go sideways, you can a bit and go diagonal up. You just want to be driving through. And it's, it's not straight away, but it's after about 10, 14 reps. It starts to get really hard, you know. We're only on really lightweight. And on my right shoulder, I'm a lot stronger than my left. So I try and do the same weight on my left. Even now, look, see my arms starting to lose, lose form. And then right now, it's, it, oh, it's burning so much. But you gotta just keep going. Because this is where the gains are. Oh. And then rotate, same again. I just said left, left one's a bit of like an, uh, it's a bit of a difficult movement. It's not my strongest arm. On my last set, but I thought I'd do a little physique update because I've not really been hitting gym. You know? I took, when I was in Dubai and I made the vlog, the last vlog was probably two, three months ago. Um, I haven't hit gym since been very on and off we're talking you know one twice a week sometimes I took like a three four five six weeks off gym as well so I'm just slowly starting to get back in it got a lot of fat to drop as you guys can see um, it's not truly bad but it's, you can you can just see it you know it's just there but it's a physique update right now I want to try and call out a trader so if any traders want to Get in the boxing ring. You know who you are. Mamba FX, Lambo Rao, FX Alex G. Bosh, bosh. Come on then. Take your boys out. As there's no sauna today and uh, cold plunge because the builder's coming in, I'm on the stepper right now. I've got to walk the dog afterwards. So this is uh, this machine actually, when I got it, broke. I never even touched it, it broke. And it's only just been replaced last week. So this is actually my first session on the step up. But I'm just going to go for 10 minutes. Nothing too long. Just a quick 10 minutes. Uh, get the heart pump in. And just get back into the swing of things. I used to be able to do 30, 45 minutes. But there's absolutely no chance. However, progress is all part of the journey. And getting fit is something you have to do in life. We've hit the 10 minute mark. That means you get the fuck off. The step up. When you do that, Jesus Christ. Still got a water dog, get a coffee, either go golf, do some snooker, update you. We've got a bunch of podcasts, so when I'm doing the day in the lives with the podcast, I'm going to show you what the guests get up to. We're going to do like a couple days' vlogs. So I thought I'd just bring it back, show you my life, the unit, the cars, how I've been getting on, and then. From like next week, week after, actually this week, sorry. It's Wednesday right now, 27th of February, 28th maybe. We've got Friday or Saturday podcast. Got uh, Denzel from Ireland flying back over. A couple other people in the Discord too. So I basically finished my workout. I'm just gonna go do some abs. Hang up there, do the abs, and then call it a session. And now we start the day. Time is 8.03. Time's 8.03, session done. Now it's time to get a coffee. Coffee shop opens at about half eight. And then I go for a morning drive and then I go walk the dog. So 
a lot to do today, a lot to get done. But 8 a.m., gym session finished. There's not much more you can want. You gotta get it done, you gotta find the motivation to get up and just get going. And uh, it's not overnight, you gotta build, you gotta build it. Come on. Just secured my daily coffee, iced caramel latte. La box, you can't go wrong with that. I'm not actually looking for any setups or trading at the minute. I just took a break from trading after uh, after losing a quarter of a million. I just thought it was time to take a break. You don't always have to trade, you know what I'm saying? Just one of those things. But plan of action today, I'm gonna get a lot done. I'm gonna take you with me. Maybe even shoot some golf at the driving range. You know how it is. Show you the, show you the wagon, show you the Lambo as well. Maybe even the new house, because I just moved into a 1.4 million pound house as well. Um, so at least show, there's a lot, a lot's changed in my life for, for real, but um, this is why I want to start vlogging again, start uploading my content, so we'll get it going. Got a fun job right now, taking all of the bins. <clears throat> I've just gone and got bean juice all over me. After I do the bins, I can't go walk the dog. He's got to go to the vets to get weighed. And then we'll crack on with the day. Do you want to go walkies? Sit down. As you can tell, the house is a mess because we're moving. Well, we've already moved, but we're still living here because we're waiting for like a bed and sort of stuff like that to turn up, which takes a while. Teddy, sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Wait. Got to do his lead. Put his lead on. Good boy. There you go, hold it. Come on in, let's go. And off he goes. Okay, let's, go let's walk down. Old setup, look how grim that is. Can't wait to move. Teddy, Ted, look. Good boy. He's currently walking. Here's the dog. I've eaten a chicken wrap from Nando's, no chips. I forgot to record it, I was so hungry. I feel absolutely fucked right now. Just sorting out a lot of TFF stuff, but got round to it in the end. Gonna go play some golf. I need to get the G-Wagon cleaned. So maybe we'll take the G-Wagon uh, as we can put the clubs in. R8 might be quite tricky. Go get it cleaned out. Head to golf, do some driving range and see what the day leads to. Heading to the unit, TFF HQ, because builders have now finished in the R8 right now. So let's just do a cold start and see how it sounds. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. You can't beat it, buy one. Look at that. Nuts. Crazy, crazy stuff this. Fuck. Oh. It's been a good day so far. It's coming on to about half three. So we'll see what happens for the rest of the day. I did want to go play some golf, but ended up not going. Had to take the dog to the vets, didn't I? So it was a long walk, but holding them, holding those treats, holding those cells. And it's just been a good day today. Currently pulling up, up to the gaff. I'll show you guys inside as well. I've got a hide the name of the house but let's, uh, let's go in there we are we're home here we go we get out. some things are in at the moment as I said we're like 90% moved in but still got a lot of stuff to to get over and satisfy, but I'll take you around, you know. Show you what we got going in here, some nice spaces. Go through this door, which leads us back to the front. And we've got, this is gonna be like the living room sort of space, and as you can see, there's just a TV, coffee table, and some cat stuff. As you walk through this, this is just a room full of absolutely nothing. Uh, we've got three floors in this one, so a lot of room, a lot of activities to get through. 
climb up the stairs. Let me take you in to see these rooms here. So it's just a spare room, all painted as well. Just a couple of sh shoes there, not everything obviously. But big room, that's gonna be like the closet room. So just a whole room for wardrobe, clothes and stuff. Got another spare room here. Obviously, all of our clothes and stuff as well. We've got so much clothes, it's a joke. A bathroom, there was a bathroom downstairs as well, but didn't even didn't even think to show you guys. This is gonna be the bedroom. Only got the sky TV up here, bed's gonna go over there. Mirrors, got a bathroom, and this is like a mini walking wardrobe, but this ain't, it's not, it's not big enough. It isn't big enough for us, so we've had to, had to move and take a whole room. Because that's what you gotta do. But it's a lot, it's a lot bigger than the house I'm currently in, which is why we've made the move. Also the cars, the Lamborghini, the R8, G-Wagon, we can't do anything at our current house because just not enough room as we go through here it's a bit fucking scary upstairs can't lie but another walking wardrobe and then we've got a uh, toilet up here as well so that's what we got going on it's quite nice actually to be fair but that's it's pretty much a day in my life I haven't really done much but I am working you know I'm working whilst I move 